Okay, this is something new that I wanted to try um, for in these videos where I do a little bit of drawing. It's all sped up and ooh, fun. Um, <laughs> and I thought it would be interesting if I answered some questions and talked about some stuff in the background. So I put a thing out on Twitter asking for some questions about um, hockey and art and just you know stuff that's similar to the video I guess yeah yeah close enough so I thought I'd answer those and you can watch the video and listen to me ramble on for a bit so the first question is at hills underscore k and they asked who are your fave avalanche players and why. Now I was kind of introduced to the avalanche through hills in a way and my love for them has just grown and grown and grown and it's a lot. So my absolute favourite avalanche player is obviously EJ because he is he's just good and he's big which is always appealing you know. Good and big. <laughs> Also, the missing teeth is very endearing. Um, I love Colin because he's very kind from what I can see. Um, he's not an avalanche player anymore, but I still love Tyson Barry and I miss him. Please come home. We miss you so much. It's just not the same without you. Um, I mean, it's... There's not many Avalanche players that I'm not incredibly fond of. Of course, Belly used to be a Golden Knights player, so I have a super soft spot for him because they are the first team that I followed. So for one of them to then go to a team that I've become very fond of is it's just it's great, and he's getting to really shine there in a way that I don't think he was able to with Vegas. Okay, the next question is from at Jen Lanto. I think that's how you say it. That's how I've always said it in my head. I'm sorry if that's wrong, Jen. Anyway, they asked, when did you get into art and how did you decide to make it a career? Now, I wasn't... You hear a lot about people that drew all the time when they were younger and that wasn't me. I didn't really properly get into art until I started reading manga <laughs> and I was reading Naruto and there was a guy that I liked in my class that was really interested in it and like I'd kind of done bits of drawing when I was younger just Sailor Moon and stuff like that and I started drawing bits of Naruto characters and he was like, oh, that's really cool. And I was like, oh, I have his attention now. I should carry on drawing. So I kept drawing and I kept getting better and it was all so that this guy <laughs> would be interested in me. Um, and he wasn't in the end, but I had learned a wicked new skill and I'd found something that I really enjoyed. So. I just pursued art from that point onwards. I think I was 13 or something. So I did all the, when did it at sixth form and then did it at university and so on and so on. But when I came out of university, I really hated <laughs> art in the end. And um, I got a retail job and I worked there for four years, I think. And by the end of it, I kind of I had the choice of either I left the job or the job would slowly kill me, really, because it was it was just the worst. It was the most miserable I've ever been. So, um, with the support of my family, they've been a huge support always. I was able to leave that job and have my art as my income. I would not be able to do it if it wasn't for my family because. Uh, unsurprisingly being a self-employed 
artist in the UK isn't the easiest thing to do. Um, I've been very fortunate with the opportunities that I've had. I'm actually currently looking towards getting a nice, nice little full-time job in an artistic field that I can do. So fingers crossed for that. Woohoo! <laughs> The next question is at after leaves, yay, and yeah, she asks, um, what makes a good hockey logo, the cutest mascot, and what's the name of her hockey son? <laughs> she can't remember. <laughs> um, so I'll start at the beginning. What makes a good hockey logo? Uh, I think that a good hockey logo needs to be instantly recognisable. You should be able to distinguish it apart from all the other logos. And it should be something that works really small. So on things like hats, if you're looking at it from a merchandising point of view, it should look good on a hat. It should look good on a huge flag that someone's going to hang on the wall. And I think another thing that's important is it should be e it should be easy for people to reproduce. Because like kids do it all the time; they draw their favourite teams. Like, they draw the little logos and stuff. And if it's really hard to draw, they're not going to do it. And that's not fun, because <laughs> I love seeing kids draw logos. It's great. It's something that I actually encountered as an issue when I was drawing mascots. And I drew the Glasgow clan mascot, which meant having to draw the Glasgow clan logo. And that is hard. That is a tricky logo. I didn't expect that. Um, cutest mascot. I will go, hmm, I really like Chance. I think he's a great mascot. Um, he's very cute. I love his, his little, little peg teeth. I think it's adorable. Um, but I really like uh, the Leafs mascot, Big Polar Bear. I can't remember what he's called. But, is he called Ice? No, Iceberg's the penguin and he scares me. I can't remember what he's called, but he's the cutest. His face is a adorable <laughs> but of like the players that I of the teams I support um I'd say the cutest mascot is Bernie yeah because he's, he's just a dog yeah and then the name of the hockey son is uh <laughs> is Johnny Goodrow and uh after leaves actually we watched the all-star challenge together the 2019 no yeah 2018 2019 all-stars together and she just developed this love for johnny hockey i think because he's small <laughs> but yeah johnny hockey johnny goodrow that's your that's your boy next question is at spencer in nl and what drew you to become a hockey fan? Well, I got into hockey through my brother really because he'd mentioned getting into hockey when he'd gone to visit friends in the States and I was like, oh that's really cool, um, my friend Riot has just gotten into hockey and she's supporting the Golden Knights because they're a newer team he was like, oh yeah, that's really, that's, that's cool, I'll, I'll check them out then. So we watched them and he started to support the Golden Knights and then I went to visit him and he was like, oh there's a game on later and I really want to watch it, are you okay if I watch it? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, we'll just, you know, we'll hang out and watch this hockey game. And I watched, I think, the first five minutes and Flower made these amazing saves and I just could not get over it. I thought he was amazing and my love of hockey really started with watching Marc-Andre Fleury just be the absolute goat. It was incredible and I've not looked back since. I just, I watched that game and then I watched another and another and another and then I started watching any that I could get my hands on from watching just highlights online to lots of EIHL games and the rest as they say is history. That's the saying isn't it? I think that's the saying. Then 
final person we have at BH Demon and they asked a few questions so I will read them and then answer them and so on so on so on so on so the first question they asked was what are your favorite hockey things to draw Ooh, I really like and I think this should count I like drawing um, the proportions that hockey creates like the so it's what inspired my hockey bunnies is that they're such big like shapes and then they're on these little tiny delicate skates and they've got the little hands stick out the jersey <laughs> And then they got the little heads with the helmets, oh, it's so cute. And uh, <laughs> and yeah, I just, I really love drawing those proportions. But if it was like a specific thing, for some reason I really enjoy <laughs> enjoy drawing pucks. Um, I think because it's so simple, but like, it's such a recognisable shape. I enjoy it, yeah, they're fun. The most difficult thing to draw is hockey sticks. Nightmare. They're an absolute nightmare to draw because the proportions are so weird and the like the blade of the stick has such a weird curve to it sometimes and just getting the perspective is a nightmare. I actually bought a stick recently purely so I can look at it closer and figure out like proportions and perspectives and things like that. Um, he asked how I got into hockey and I've just answered that one so we'll move on. Three favourite moments from the season so far. Well this is a really hard one because like in the UK it's not super easy to watch full games so I miss a lot of what happens but there's things that really highlight season for me are like the things that happen outside of the game so gritty getting charged for punching a small child is absolutely a highlight. Well, no, he didn't get charged. He got, there was an accusation of him punching a small child, which was, I mean, very serious allegation. Absolutely hilarious when you think about Gritty with these little squeaky hands. <laughs> um, I know it's not a, a popular thing, but the All-Star Skills Challenge is always something that I really enjoy. Uh, I love to see all the players hanging out, having fun, and just being ridiculously skillful. Um, third thing. What's the third thing? Uh, oh, third thing is seeing how the Leafs have moved on from having what was obviously not a great situation with the coach and they seem to really have flourished and the support that came from the hockey community for these players was really inspiring and I really hope that that kind of leads to a change in the world of hockey. Uh, fave players and why Obviously, I've mentioned EJ and Tyson Barry because I love them. Um, Travis Konechny is an absolute gem. He's small and fighty, and honestly, don't we all want to be small and fighty? Um, <laughs> Kevin Hayes, big and soft, love it. Perfect boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, good player as well, obviously. Um, obviously I love watching Sidney Crosby because he's just a great player to watch. You're not going to be disappointed watching him. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury, as I mentioned, was the player that really got me into hockey for the first time. And I still absolutely love watching him. And he's had a hard season with family things. But he's such a good character and I don't think that, that is something that is valued in him enough. Obviously a lot of people talk about it but if you think of him in relation to Vegas, the team of mostly players that were like cast out in a way from their team, they weren't protected and they became just a team of misfits 
and I think he really helped bring them together as the lead misfit is the weird guy <laughs> but yeah and he's just a joy to watch and his kids are adorable and his wife is adorable it's just great who I think will make the playoffs okay let me get my book out because I actually wrote down some stuff for this so the questions are who I think will make the playoffs and then who I think will be in the cup final now I can only do who I think will make the playoffs from obviously the current position and what I know of these teams because obviously I could go and look and I could look at their injuries and I could look at all this kind of thing but I don't know it super well so I'm just doing this off what I know of these teams where they're currently placed in their individual divisions and in the conferences and yeah so I'll start off with the Eastern Division Eastern Conference even, not Eastern Division, the Atlantic Conference and I think it'll be the Bruins will be in top position, then the Lightning and then I really really want it to be the Leafs, I want to see the Leafs in a playoff run, I think it'll just be great if they can get there. Um, the Metropolitan Division I think will be the Caps, the Flyers and the Penguins, although I say it in that order I think there is a chance that the Flyers will go into the playoffs in the top position. I might be wrong. I could just be biased because I love the Flyers, but who knows. And then in the wildcard positions, I think it will be the Islanders and the Canes because the Canes seem to be just getting better and better this season. Um, I think they should hire that Sam Brody driver. In the Western Conference, Central Division I think will be the Blues, because they've just been having a weirdly good season. The Avalanche, yeah, go abs. And the Stars, and then in the Pacific Division, I think it'll be Vegas, Oilers, and the Flames. I want to see Vegas make it to the playoffs again. I will definitely cheer for them. Um, the wild cards, I think, will be the Canucks and the Coyotes. And I picked those two teams mainly because I didn't know. I really wasn't sure and I kind of went with my gut on that and as for who I think will be in the cup final I really don't know I would love for it to end up being the Flyers against the Avs I think that would just be such an awesomely young cup final I think it'd be full of just energy and so good if the Avs can make it all the way without tons of injuries <laughs> because they do seem to be getting injuries a lot and the same with the Flyers I mean they've got some really good players out at the moment so it will also depend but will some of these players that are out will they come back in for the playoff run who knows I certainly don't I've only seen one playoffs and even then I didn't really know what was going on <laughs> but yeah that's my thoughts on the playoffs and the cup finals and that is all the questions wow so many questions if you have anything that you would like to ask feel free to tweet me on twitter at lixieb and hopefully you'll enjoy this video and i've rambled on for a while hopefully you can actually hear what i'm saying i think i may have turned away from the microphone a couple of times I'm really sorry about that I hope there's not tons of ambient noise I've tried to make it as as quiet as possible so fingers crossed um, if you've made it all this way thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely wonderfully terrific bright sunny wholesome day and stay safe bye